Hello, air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We are doing your June 7, 2018. This is your daily reading. Okay, and you guys, I'm first of all, I'm so comfortable. I'm so happy to be back in my bra, like wearing shirts and shit. That's just not my thing. I just love being in my bra. It's comfortable. I feel more connected, whatever. Um, I'm also trying to decide if I want to stay here or go back to ATL. I don't know i don't know i don't know like i have a tendency to choose excitement over stability so i'll go with a situation that's more exciting that's more fun than one that's more stable but i feel like it's time to change my ways right i just i don't know y'all i don't know um maybe you guys are having the same dilemma should i stay should i go like one option is like fun, it's exciting, it's enthusiastic, and the other option is more practical, all right? So whatever, however that resonates with you. Let's get it popping. June 7, 2018, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's see what's popping. What's going on? Decisions, decisions, so many decisions. It's always a decision to make. All right. Like, seriously. All right, let's see what's going on for you. Okay, air sign. You have the energy of the three of swords. Okay, um, I feel like there's going to be some communication today. You could be communicating with three separate people through text message, email, or verbal communication. Okay, um, these people could be trying to hurt your feelings. They could be out to get you. They could be out to change your mind, sway you, or just saying something that's fucking hurtful. Um, I feel like also, too, you have three people in your life who are trying to stop your growth, trying to stop your expansion, stop you from um, seizing opportunities. This could be relationship related as well. All right, you could be uh, battling with yourself, your higher self, your lower self, and your intuition here as well. Because we have three people here. To me, this is your higher self, your lower, your lower self, your higher self, and your intuition. All right. So you could be self-sabotaging your own growth. Okay, your own expenditure. All right. You have the energy of the Queen of Wands, and it wanted to come up in the reverse. Okay, so I see a lot of you are feeling a little bit insecure, a little bit unstable, a little bit passionless, all right? Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, individual. This could also be a mother figure as well. Maybe your mother has um, fire in her chart. She could be an air sign as well. But I feel like a lot of you here, this communication, whatever, whatever is happening with this communication today, it's causing you to feel insecure. It's causing you to feel bitchy, vindictive, or you could be, you could be communicating with someone and they're feeling insecure, bitchy, vindictive vindictive, spiteful, a lack of security, a lack of self-esteem, a lack of self-worth, okay? Um, just a lack of value here. Um, but I feel like somebody is trying to bring this out in you. Somebody is saying something to arouse a situation that makes you feel insecure, makes you feel uncomfortable, unstable. Un but you could, I feel like you're losing passion for someone here. Like where the passion once was, with I feel like it's with this fire sign. Like you had passion for this person, but now it's like you don't see this person like that anymore. You don't see this person as the queen of wands anymore. All right, you see this person as the exact opposite. Bitchy, a bastard, spiteful, vindictive, low self-esteem, low self-worth, no passion, no ambition, nothing. Like, And I feel like, too, you're losing attraction for this person. You might be telling somebody today, hey... I'm just not into you like that anymore. I'm not attracted to you anymore. I don't see you as the queen of wands anymore, okay? Or this could be somebody telling you this, all right? You have the energy of the strength card. It also wanted to come up in reverse. So like, yeah, just feeling, um, losing your temper here. I feel like somebody's losing their temper because they're jealous, they're vindictive, and somebody somebody has lost passion for a situation, a person, place, or thing. Um, You could be dealing with the Leo individual as well, but with this picture, it's like the lion the lion is not actually there it's on a claw so i feel like um somebody here is pretending to be strengthful somebody is pretending to um tame themselves okay somebody is pretending like they're not discouraged like they're not worried like they like they don't feel weak but they really are all right this you could be dealing with a mother i feel like it's a mother figure here all right or a leo individual your overall energy is the ace of pentacles Okay, so give somebody who's receiving a gift or giving you a gift today. You could be receiving money from somebody or a token of somebody's love. Um, 
But whatever the case may be, the eight, the Ace of Pentacles is something that you can touch. It's tangible, all right? It's something that's physical, something that's materialized, all right? This is not something that's in your head. It's something that's a physical thing that you can touch here. But I feel like people are going to be offering you gifts today, all right? Offering you money. You could be making money today, having new opportunities to make money, uh, new streams of in income coming in for you. Um, but I feel like you're going to have to deal with a lot of backlash, okay? A lot of people dragging your name through the mud, talking about you, trying to hurt your feelings. Just saying hate, hurtful, hateful shit to you okay also too i feel like i feel like you could be losing your passion for an endeavor okay you could be feeling very discouraged here about something that you're doing work related or something um doing on the side like an entrepreneur thing or a person you just you're just, the strength the confidence that you want the confidence that you once had in a job and a person is just not there anymore it's gone like you've lost your attraction you lost all hope you've lost your strength in this like the whatever if this was a bond between you and another person the bond is the bond is slowly being broken okay the bond is slowly weakening all right and I feel like there's been there's just there's been too much that has been said between you and this person, too many hurtful words, okay, too many people involved in your business and the relationship or whatever is going on, too many people involved in your um, creative endeavor, and it's causing you to lose hope, lose strength, lose your bond, lose your passion. It's also causing you to feel very like low, you know, like your self esteem is just not there today, like it's not regarding somebody. Cause I feel like you want something brand new. You want something new. It's like you're tired of the same old, same old. It's always the same thing, the same shit. All right, you're sick of it. You're sick of dealing with it, period. Like, and you might be saying some hurtful words today. You might be hurting some feelings. Like, you know, so I feel like somebody might try to offer you something, maybe a token of their love, a gift, okay, a new opportunity and, and to make money, but you're just like, no, no, like, I'm not feeling you no more. Okay, with the Three of Swords, we have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, yeah. So I feel like um, the Page of Pentacles is something that's hands-on. It's tarot, it's mystical work, it's working with your hands, okay? It's starting fresh, making new investments. But I feel like someone's going to be telling, you're going to be telling someone today, I don't want to invest in you, I don't want to do this anymore, I, I, I don't see a future with you, I don't see you worth my investment, I don't see you worth my time, my energy, nothing. You're not worth it. Like, I don't have, the confidence I once had is gone. I don't want to make an investment with you. I don't want to start small. I don't want to start big. I don't want to start at all. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Okay? Like, I'm over it. I'm done. Okay? And this also could be, this also could be you saying, like, if you're not... If you're, not, if you're not coming with something tangible, if you can't prove your love to me, if you can't give me a token of your love, if I don't see tangible proof that I can actually touch, I'm done. I'm good. Like, if I don't see proof of what, you, what you're telling me, I'm done. I'm over it. I'm not doing this anymore. Like, I need tangible proof. Like, talk is cheap, right? With the Queen of Wands, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like somebody here, um, this is like a get-rich-quick scheme. Somebody could be playing the lotto or trying to do things in order to, uh, like, um, what's the word? Like, work the system or cheat the system. Like, somebody here wants everything, but they don't want to work for shit. They want everything to be given to them, all right? This also, too, is all work and no play. You're bored. All right, you're starting to lose your passion for work because you're not having any fun. It's not fun, all right? Or you're not making enough money to have fun. Like, any money that you make goes back into your business, all right? Or goes to bills or goes to obli obligations, okay? So I feel like, too, a lot of you here are also, you're tired of being single. You want somebody to, you want somebody to work with. You want a partner. You want, a, you want companionship, all right? Um, but I feel like um, you do want companionship here, but it's like at the same time, you could be like, you, I feel like you're losing a lot of passion here. Like, you know, your drive, your ambition, your passion is slowly dying. All right. And I feel like the passion too here is about you being single too. Like you're tired of being single. Like you want somebody in your life. You want somebody to share your wealth with, your resources with, your money with, your your dreams with, your ideas with. You want somebody just to talk to, somebody to vent to, okay. Um, but I feel like here uh, with this Queen of Wands, yeah, somebody, somebody here is very spiteful, very vindictive, very bitchy, okay? Somebody wants to get back at you for something, okay? Um, I feel like somebody here, somebody is unhappy with you being single. And somebody wants you, but they don't want to work for you. They don't want to They don't want to give you tangible proof that they want this, okay? With the strength card, we have the queen of cups in reverse, yeah. I feel like you don't, air sign, you don't really know what you want here. You don't really have a good handle on your emotions, okay? I feel like you're dealing with, you could be, if you're dealing with a person here, you've been dealing with this person for quite some time. This is not somebody new at all. You have a lot of emotions invested in this person, in this relationship, in this endeavor, whatever you're doing here. But at the same time, you don't want to move forward with this. Like, it's, it's like, whatever this is, it's a waste of time. You Unless somebody has tangible proof for you, you're done. You're over it. And I feel like whoever you're dealing with too, they don't know what they want either. 
both of you guys are confused about what you want, okay? And both of you guys have a hard time expressing your expressing your emotions, expressing what you want, and both of you have a hard time taming yourself. I feel like somebody I feel like both of you are about to lose your temper here majorly. You're both about to lose your temper. It's going to be a fight, it's going to be an argument, a lot of mind games, emotional games and shit like that. Both of you are confused, uh you and the person you are dealing with, but I feel like you are trying you're trying to keep your composure. You're trying to be collected. You're trying to keep the peace, okay? You're trying to you're trying to center yourself, but it's just like like you're you're such you're so emotional right now because like you're tired of waiting on this person you're tired of waiting for the proof you're tired of waiting for money to come in like you are so emotional you're just sick and tired of being sick and tired all right and i feel like it has a lot to do with money here you know you're doing something you're working for yourself you're working with your hands you're you're making a way for yourself but it's like where's the money where's my money at like where's the, you know where's companionship where's the fun at where's the where's the fun in life there's no fun in life right now like you're losing your passion for every fucking thing i feel like here air sign your guidance is the art express yourself through creative activities yeah i feel like listening to music meditating going outside going by the lake going by the river listening to live music jazz classical things like that it's going to help you connect to the divine again it's going to help you find your passion i feel like you are already you're already dabbling in the arts anyway you are the queen of swans even if it's in the reverse this is someone who still is a mystic okay but i feel like you could be losing your passion with those things because i feel like a lot of you you want communication you want love you want support but it's like how come i have all these things but i can't have the things that i truly want i truly want love i truly want support i truly want companionship okay i truly want more fucking money like where is it at like you know what i mean and i feel like you guys are just waiting on this huge windfall to come in like where is the money like for real let's see what your lesson is for today okay you guys are losing confidence in something. It's just like the passion that you once had is gone. Shit is gone. This shit has left the building. All right. It says today's lesson. Notice that special person. It says on this day, take notice of someone who you previously ignored. That person is your teacher, your spiritual angel, and he or she will do or say something you've been waiting for just because you recognize the beauty of his or her spirit. Your goal to see that everyone is capable of, of helping and healing you and vice versa. Yeah, I feel, but I feel like somebody you're dealing with here, you've lost the passion for this person. You don't want to invest any more time and energy, okay? It's like I've said what I had to say. I've shown you proof. I've shown, I've shown you what I can do, what I can be for you. How I can benefit your life and you're still making me wait you're not worth my fucking time i'm not i don't have i don't have confidence in you anymore yes i love you yes i have feelings for you but like the confidence the passion the lifelessness is not there anymore okay so i hope this helps you um air sign don't forget to like comment and subscribe okay thank you